Hey everybody, I got another one for you here. So this is a small block Ford and it's going into a 68 Mustang, I believe. But what we did is we took the later model block, which is an E7, like an 87 to 1990 block with a roller cam. So it has a factory roller cam in it. And this is a common upgrade for these older engines. They, they buy one of the roller cam motors and they build it so that it will fit in an early Mustang or something like that. We put a front sub pan on it. One of the problems that you run into with Fords is that we have these early style pulley setups here. Um, and with Ford, now these are V-belt pulleys and these are the original pulleys that go with the belt and pulley setup that goes on the front of the early 65, 66, 67, 68. And of course, they, there were some variations in those, year, those years too. But basically, it was a V-belt v pulley setup with these pulleys. This is your crank pulley, and then your water pump goes up here, and it, this here. Now, the problem is, with Fords, they have... I want to say probably a dozen, probably even more than that, pulley offsets and setups on the front of these engines. So if you go to the, the later model engine, which is, it, it takes a different balancer. The early engine had an offset balancer, it was externally balanced, so it had an offset of 28 ounces. When we get to the later engines, it takes a different balancer and it's a 50 ounce offset. The early balancers had three bolts in them, one, two, three for the V-belt setup. The later balancers had a pulley that had four bolts here and the balancer had four bolts in it. And the offset was different. Well, the thing is you can't put the early 28 ounce balancer with the three bolts on a later model 50 ounce balance block. The thing's not gonna be balanced. That's not gonna work at all. So a lot of guys, what they'll do is they use the, the four bolt balancer and they, they put it on the motor and then when they go to put their V-belt setup pulleys on, they got three bolts here and they got a four bolt pattern and it, it just, it doesn't even fit. This pulley's not even gonna work with this. And even if they do manage to get this on somehow, which they can't, uh, it's just the offset's completely different. The belts are not going to be lined up. So this is a really problematic thing for Fords. I've had customers buy engines from me. You know, they didn't tell me what the motor was going in, but they call me up a week later and they're all upset because they're like, oh, nothing fits on the front of this motor. This is a, you know, you should have told us that, well, told you why you didn't tell me what you're putting the motor in. You just came and bought the engine, the roller cam, later modeled engine and you know, then you call me up a week later. If you had talked to me in the first place, I probably could have helped you out with this. Now, there's a real easy way to fix this problem. And that is with this little baby right here. So this is an aftermarket balancer and it is a, a 50 ounce. Now what's cool about it is you can also make it a 28 ounce because the weight in the back of the balancer that offsets this is actually a, a billet block that bolts into the back of the balancer. So it bolts in there, right? And you can put either a 28 ounce weight or you can unbolt that and put a 50 ounce weight in it. So this one here has the 50 ounce weight in it. And that's a pretty cool deal because, and even when you get the motor balanced at the balance shop, they can either weld a little bit of material onto that weight or they can shave the weight after they bolt it into the, the harmonic dampener. So it's pretty cool the way that that works. So this is the later model 50 ounce balancer. If you're running the early pulley setup, this is not going to work, okay? So what we did is we put this, this is a, a balancer. And again, I should have called these people and said, hey, would you like me to promote your product? <laughs> um, this is a, here it is a balancer that's made by professional products and the part number is 80007, 8007. 
And this is a dampener that's designed, it has both bolt hole patterns drilled into it, right? And it has this little insert that goes in there. Some of the, some of the pulleys had this lip out here, the male lip, which fits into this groove, and some of them were flat. If they're flat, the way they design this is you just leave that little piece pressed in there, and then that centers the other style pulley. For our purposes, we have a flange sticking out, so we had to pull this out. You just pop it out, and voila, our pulley fits on there, and it has a set of bolt holes that line up. This is the early style V-belt pulley setup. It gives me the exact right offset for the early pulley setup so that I can use my belt, my V-belt and pulley setups from my 1968 uh, Mustang or for whatever vehicle you have, Cougar, whatever it is. Uh, but I can use my, my belt and pulley setup that's original equipment on the motor and keep everything all original. This is, they're trying to keep this as original as possible. Now the other thing is the timing tab setup is different. So this, you might be wondering why this is on here or maybe you don't even care. Um, this is a timing tab for the later model roller block setup. It's right here. What's cool is not only does this have bolts in it, but it has several sets of numbers. Like you can see, we've got this at top dead center now. So we marked it with this. And then of course over here, it has another set of numbers with a zero. Now, what I did on this one, I do not have the customer's timing tab that goes here. For the early style engines, you have to have the timing tab here at about two o'clock. It bolts on here, and then it, the, the other end of it goes in this little boss with a tiny screw, and the timing tab lines up here. The problem with using this timing tab with the early pulley setup is once you get the early style pulley setup on here, you can't see this. There's no way to get to it because it's blocked off by some of the accessories, and when you go to, to put your timing light on it, well, it ain't gonna happen because you can't see that. So what I did is I zeroed it out and got it at TDC with this timing mark, and it's okay to leave it on here. It's not gonna matter because it's just gonna be out of sight, out of mind. But because he doesn't have his timing tab yet, I zeroed it out here, and I also zeroed this out here, so that way when he puts his timing tab on after he buys it, we have a reference point here and he can zero his timing tab out here and we'll know that it's timed. So, and like you say, you got a set of numbers here, you got a set of numbers here, and there's also a set of numbers underneath for, I don't know, some other Ford combination. I'm not sure what that is. So, so this balancer will very easily solve the problem of having the wrong offset, the wrong bolt pattern. If you want to use a later model roller block in an early Mustang or whatever, it's a great idea because you can it's it's you got a roller cam now and the blocks are pretty decent. You put a front sump pan on it, you put the right this transitionary or universal type balancer on, get your timing tab on, and then you just put all your belts and pulleys on like you normally would if you're putting the early style motor in. Everything's lined up perfect and you got it. So I, I thought I'd make a video about that because I have had so many people comment and send me emails and just people I've dealt with say that they tried to do an engine swap on a Ford and they spent three or four days trying to figure out what pulley setup. They go to the wrecking yard and they buy pulley setups and brackets off of, you know, wreck trucks and cars. And the thing is, Ford changed everything every two years. So there is literally dozens of different pulley setups and offsets. So, and it just, it, it's, if you're dealing with Fords, this is something that you gotta deal with. But this little jewel right here, this balancer from uh, Performance Products, Professional Products has changed the game. So um, if you have any questions about this or you need sources where to buy this, I can let you know. But Actually, if you just Google this part number, uh, 8007, and go to a professional products, you can buy this probably on eBay or online, and they'll send it right to you. So. so hopefully that makes sense to you. Hopefully if you're dealing with some of this stuff here, you can 
you know, this will help you. You can glean some information off this and it'll make your life a lot easier. So I appreciate you watching. I gotta go, I gotta finish this turkey up because the customer's coming to get it. He wants everything on this motor. I mean, he wants water pump. I still gotta put the brass core plugs in and the Thermactor plugs. And then I can put all those accessories on. But hey, he's paying for it, so that's fine. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Check me out on Facebook at My Vintage Iron 7512. Ask questions, right, that I can use in my next Q&A session. Or if you have any questions about this, be sure to ask me. I appreciate you watching. I'll talk to you soon. And they, they put it on.